It has a smart lock feature that will uh, decrease the theft chances in this Nairobi. So the only way anyone can access the electric start or the ignition is by, you know, he has to have your key or if the key has to be this design specifically and uh, you have to pull it up this way. Put it in here start then I put the ignition key inside there that oh, on this particular bike I have not connected any battery so I'm not going to start it because <coughs> we've not sold the bike yet but I'll do a different video where I'll connect the battery and just ride it so that will be the course of next week so just watch out on my page so the good thing about the dashboard it's digital as you can see um, there's some few fancy features that we've changed, like the front indicators, the bit fancy, as you can see. I'll put a side photo of the old model, so you actually identify the other features. So you can see the indicators and all that. The headlight here is relatively, you know, close to what has been there in the market. Now, where are you going to put the battery? This is where the battery is positioned, huh? right here. So, I have to open this box. You can put your toolkit here. This particular box. You lock it up. So, you might ride in the dirt, mud, and all that. And you might not even know where your toolkit is, but this is a safe place to put your toolkit. Um, uh, the battery will be on this side of the side cover, this hidden part. I think you can zoom in right here. Just right here. On this particular part. And uh, we can have a look at the exhaust because we try to change the exhaust so that it's more appealing. It's a bit sleek. Uh, at least on a higher level uh, so that you know while you're in the mud road on the rough road it's easier <coughs> for it to be maintained for at least a uh, while yeah and it has the tension you know branding all over as hard as well if you have a passenger you can actually support him or herself during the ride then um uh, on this bike, don't ask me about the uh, number plates. We only attach number plates once we sell the bike. So, they're all registered with the latest plates. So, check out my page, check out my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next week.